What's going on, Pisces? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And if this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's dive right into your reading. See what we got going on. Two of Cups, High Priestess, the World, and the Eight of Wands. The fact that you got the World and the Eight of Wands here lets you know that there's a major possibility of travel right around the corner waiting for for you, right? So expect someone to come up to you and say, hey, I have some tickets I can't use. Would you like to use them? Or a business trip, or even a weekend getaway. Expect something big coming your way, including travel. Now, Spirit's letting you know that it's essential for you to really be optimistic to the opportunity and don't dismiss it. Don't let limiting beliefs, your ego, or any sort of human filters come in and try to talk, talk you out of it. Because right now, I do see you finding yourself on this travel and potentially meeting a special somebody there. So when this happens, expect your ego to come up and say, don't do this for, pick your reason. Not the right time. You know, no, you know you, you, again, uh, you don't have the money, whatever the case is. And understand, I do see spirit setting this up for you. I see divine timing at play, the who, what, when, where, how. I see all that being taken care of. This is not something we have to worry about. All you have to worry about is putting yourself in a magnetic frequency that when this opportunity comes, you are able to capitalize on it. You don't really dismiss it. And right now I do see here that with the high priestess energy, on this, you know, in this change of setting, because that's all it is, leaving your environment, you are going to get closer to yourself, to your spiritual powers, and that two of cups energy lets me know that you are going to meet someone that is also evolved in their spiritual journey. Both of you have gone through the same experiences, and I do feel like both of you are going to be bonded because you've shared similar uh, uh, circumstances that have happened to you in the near future. Both of you may be coming out of a relationship or going into one, and I do see here things changing for you guys, and spirit for some reason is bringing you guys together now. And I do see here right now, the energy is very, um, very re receiving, like you're both in a receiving mode. You're both receptive to each other's energy and you're both really vibing off each other. So I see a lot of good things coming from you. I see that this is going to be a more like a partnership, a two-way street. It's not just a, you know, a, a settling sort of energy. And it's almost like you both were meant to meet each other at this time to learn lessons beforehand and learn lessons together, which is beautiful energy. So what would I do, right? In a situation like this, if I was like, okay, I just got the heads up from spirit. Spirit's telling me, listen, someone's going to come up to you, give you an opportunity, go on a trip. Would I wouldn't say no to this. Get ready for this. You can do so many things you can do to let spirit you are ready. Like one trick I always use is I always go grab a bag, right? And I just put one or two things in it. A bag that I may not always use, but I go grab say a couple shirts and I'll just put it in that shirt, in that bag and I'll put the bag somewhere close by where I can kind of see it. And what am I doing there? I'm telling spirit, spirit, I am so ready to go on this trip that I have packed my bags. This is one trick to showing spirit. This is me getting ready. This is me doing my part. Spirit goes, wow. Oh my goodness, angels and guys, look at Pisces go. Pisces knows how to play this third dimensional game. Unbelievable, Cap, clap, slow clap everybody. Okay, Pisces is ready, set Pisces up. Same thing works for love, right? For example, say if you wanna meet your soulmate. All you gotta do is go in your closet, make this much space. I know how, how valuable real estate is in the closet, ladies. I totally understand and I know, but check this out. Move all your clothes over. Just make that much space, just a little bit of space. What you're doing is you're showing spirit. Spirit, look, I am so ready for my soulmate that I have space that my soulmate can go put their clothes in, to go hang their clothes. You doing these things is exactly how we open up the energy, how we move things around, and how we create change, right? And that change is something that, you know, we have to lead the dance to make happen. And I see that change happening for you very, very soon, Pisces. Now we got the Six of Pentacles, the Tower, Eight of Pentacles. Look at that page of swords, a test. All you have is a test coming your way. There's going to be a circumstance where at first it is going to seem scary, challenging, uncertain, wobbly energy. There's going to be a shock to the system, something you did not expect. And right now, Spirit wants to see how are you going to deal with this situation? Really, how are you going to react with this situation? I'll give you an example. Maybe your landlord will come up to you and say, listen, we're selling the house, you gotta move. At first, scary, shocking, unexpected. You may be like, what the heck? You know, I've been so good to you, why would you kick me out, right? That energy, your ego comes out, right? But understand this is a test. Right now, Spirit wants to see where are you at right now in your life? Pisces, do you are you ready for more? Because remember, Spirit can only give us as much as we can handle. That's why there's not like a new opportunity popping up every day. We have to be ready for this. So when this happens, now that you got the heads up, all you gotta do is gonna be like, oh, gotcha. This is a test. 
All right, well, landlord, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been fun. I wish you the best. I appreciate it. Spirit, now I'm gonna go find a place even better, closer to my work for cheaper rent, right? When you have that mind state, again, ding, 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 ding. This whole thing is a game. It's all about vibrations and frequencies. What happens then? I see here right now, Spirit is gonna bring you some sort of promotion or opportunity to invest in something to help your financial life because I see financial stability and you having more than enough to actually give back. That Six of Pentacles lets me know you're gonna have enough to even donate or give to charity. But also that eight of pentacles lets me know you're gonna start mastering what you're doing. So probably just either have a business getting more clients or if, you, if you're working for a company, getting a promotion, right? Getting good, good, better and better at what you're doing. Now, right now, Spirit is also gonna give you this energy in the form of a download. So be in a receiving mode to get this download, right? That's all you gotta do. Ask yourself this. When you are waiting for a phone call, that's very important to you, that's gonna help change your life. What do you want to do? You want to make sure your phone is charged and you're also in an area that has reception, right? You don't want to be in an area like an underground parking lot or somewhere camping that there's no reception, right? It's gonna be very difficult to get that message. Now, when in our life do we not have reception? When spirit, your angels and guides want to talk to you in order for the channel to be cleared, there cannot be any stimulation, fear, anxiety, any sort of scarcity mindset, worry. All the words that did not sound good, did not make you feel good, because they're not good, any of that energy it can't be. Now, when are you just full bars, just ready to go, charged up battery, hearing what they have to say, when you are in the receiving mode, when you're happy, enthusiastic, optimistic, you know, happiness, joy, abundance, love, humor, you know, uh, definitely being silly and not being serious is the quickest way I found for me. Anytime I find myself serious, overthinking, grinding, forcing something, efforting something, it's always like putting myself in a, in a like basically having no bars on my phone, right? But whenever I'm more silly, I'm more, and I have a more youthful approach, more optimistic approach, right? Like just going with the flow, then everything just starts flowing to me. So right now, Pisces, just number one thing I would do is not be serious, right? Now, not be serious does not mean take your foot off the gas, does not mean don't be, you know, hard worker, does not mean don't, you know, be, you know, uh, take a step towards your goals. You know, I look at myself as someone who, you know, values his, my work ethic, but I also understand that trying to grind through something, it's almost like forcing yourself through a small door frame. It's not going to work. Now, Ace of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Wands, Four of Cups. Spirit is telling you right now, in order for destiny to do its thing, because remember, it is your birthright to be rich, healthy, and with your soulmate, which is your destiny. Your angels and guides, everyone wants this for you. In order for this to happen, you have to clear the limiting beliefs and the energy blockages preventing you from getting this. Very, very simple. Right now, everyone wants you to, you to be happy. But right now, the only person that can prevent this from happening is ourself. We are the only one that tells spirit, I don't want to be happy. Why? Because of the way we feel, right? Spirit does not speak languages. It doesn't speak English, it doesn't speak French, it doesn't speak Spanish. It speaks feelings, right? So even if you didn't articulate the words to spirit, spirit, you know, for example, if you tell spirit, spirit, I want to be rich, you may have said the words of, I want to be rich. You may have used that vocabulary, but what did spirit hear? Spirit hear, I don't believe I will be rich because I want it rather than think that I have it. This is one of the rules in this third dimension, right? Remember, we are all playing by the set number of rules. We cannot change the rules. You just gotta play within the rules. The rules of this third dimension of, I already have it and then it will come. So example, if you wanted to be rich, all you gotta tell spirit is, spirit, I am so rich. I'm the most rich person in this world. Every Money just wants to come to me. Money loves me because money knows I know how to treat it. Money knows I will share with everyone and money knows that I will treat it so well. I am so just money, just I can't even keep money off of me, right? This is the energy you have to have. Remember, don't worry about who wrote the rules, right? Or how silly this is. This is stupid. Sure it is, but it doesn't matter. Do you want to be rich? Do you want to be with your soulmate? Do you want to be happy and healthy? Yes, cool. Play by these rules. And let me tell you, these rules are awesome. The only reason that we think that these rules are not awesome because we've been programmed and conditioned to think not to be silly, to be serious. Serious. Pay attention, focus. Remember going to school, right? Pay attention, don't daydream, none of that. Focus, memorize, right? That's what is school about? Memorization, right? That's it. So again, let go of that energy. Focus your awareness more within. Tap into your spiritual powers. Understand that being resilient, you will be rewarded, but stand up for yourself. Next time your ego comes in with limiting beliefs and shadows and human filters and tries to tell you you're not worthy, remember you have the number one most 
powerful force in all the dimensions, not even just the universe, in all the dimensions that has your back, and that is spirit. You are spirit's child. You are spirit's everything. And spirit has your back, so welcome it. Do not resist it. Let it come into your life. All right, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thousand kisses. Until next time, ciao.